to part two of my beginner lace series so first i'm just going to start out by using my block head i finally ordered one from amazon i know i'm not using my struggle foam head anymore so i got this foam head and do stand from amazon i will link it all in the description box below of where you can purchase it so i'm going to be using this mesh cap sorry if my voice sounds like cracky i said it in my other video i'm getting over a cold but this is the same frontal that I used that I bleached in my part one. If you guys did not check out that um, video, make sure you do to see how I bleached my frontal and bleached my bundles. I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the hair because that is what we're gonna be using to line up with our mesh cap to sew down our frontal. So the easiest way to do the frontal and sew it down is to just braid the side. So that's just what I'm doing right here. So now I'm just pinning down the sides of the frontal onto the block head. I don't know if it's because this block head is like fairly new, but it was like so hard for me to like pin down my T pins on it. But yeah. Um, so right here, I'm gonna be doing a close up of how I sew on my frontal. So just like I told you guys earlier, you wanna line up the inside of the frontal that has like that extra material on it with the side of the mesh cap. So I just put the needle through the mesh cap and then I put it through the end of the frontal and then I just pull that string through. Then I'm just gonna do the same thing, put it through the mesh, put it through the frontal and pull it through. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to cross stitch. I don't know if this is what actual cross stitching is, but I'm just gonna assume that it is because I am crossing the thread and then pulling it through. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I um, sew on my frontal and my bundle. So I like to pull the string to the side and then I'll pull the needle through. Um, basically going inside of the little loop that I made. So right here for time purposes, I'm just going to speed it up, but it's pretty much the same thing all throughout the hair. And that is the exact way that I sew everything from my frontal to my bundles. So if this is just like a repetitive thing, I'm just gonna speed through it. And then if it's something that I'm going to explain, I'm just gonna slow it down and explain it. And right here, I'm just gonna show you guys how I close off that um, thread. So I'm just going to put the needle through and then loop it around three times. Don't get it tangled like how I did, but loop it around three times and pull. And that's just gonna create a knot and then you're just going to loop it and pull. And I like to keep my finger there just so that the knot is close to the weft as possible. And then you just cut it. And then that's how I do my knots. So this is the hair that I bleached in the previous video in part one. And I'm just showing you guys what it looks like after the silicone mix conditioning treatment. Guys, this hair is so good now, like so good. Like that silicone mix saved this hair because it was struggling before it. So now I'm just gonna start by sewing in my bundle. So I'm just taking the hair and doing the same thing with the frontal. So I'm just putting it through the weft and then through the mesh cap and then pulling. And I'm doing that about two times and then I'll start doing my cross stitch. 
for the fire. Why you wanna do this? Stop acting so stupid. Hope for the fire. This shot is on fire. Chiffy manuna me do we a combo. Patrick Otto, this is Chiffy manuna me do we a combo. Otto, me do Patrick Otto. Somebody bring some water. Cause she's on fire. Somebody bring some water. Cause she's on fire. So I never, ever, ever cut my virgin hair. That is just like a huge no-no when it comes to virgin hair. So I'm doing the fold over method. So I'm just looping the weft and then looping through the frontal. And that's just basically going to connect the two. I'm gonna cross stitch. And then that's just gonna make our base for doing our fold over method. So once those two parts are connected, you're just going to fold over the weft. And then I like to pin down the weft on the other side just to create like a guideline for me. So I don't have to like hold the actual weft. So I'm just gonna hold that down with my T-pin and then start sewing in the opposite direction, doing the same cross stitch. So I pretty much just finished the whole entire wig. So now I'm just gonna show you guys how I close off my weft. So I'm just doing the fold over method for the smallest section that's left and for this part, I'm just going to fold over the hair and then I'm going to loop it through the weft, loop it through the frontal and pull in the opposite direction in a downward motion. So it's easier like to show you guys than to say it. So I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I did. And yeah, we're going to move on to the next part. Somebody bring some water. Yeah. Somebody bring some water. Yeah. Cause she's on fire. Yeah. Somebody bring some water. Yeah. Cause she's on fire. Yeah. Somebody bring some water. Yeah. Cause she's on fire. Yeah. Som
Now for this section, I'm just gonna be taking out those braids that we did in the beginning, and then I'm going to be blow drying the hair. And if you guys see any like really platinum blonde areas, that's not where I bleached it. It's actually um, little wefts that I had in my weave box that I just added to the hair for extra dimension. So it's just like little one or two or three wefts of 613 hair that I just added to the wig. And my baby Ariel just wanted a cameo because she was just bothering me the whole entire time until I picked her up. She gets like that sometimes. Yeah, I know. She's such a baby. So your eyes are not playing tricks on you. The hair is already dyed in the section, but I forgot to make the elastic band or like the um, band part for the hair when it was blonde, but it's okay. So I'm gonna just do it now. So we're gonna be using the actual wig cap as our elastic band instead of using a real elastic band only because this is softer it's not really gonna pull your hair as much and it's not gonna be as tight giving you a headache and pulling off all your edges so I'm just cutting the excess part that was left on the wig as far as like the frontal part um, because we don't need it and we're going to reuse it anyway so I'm just cutting up that part make sure you don't cut too close to the frontal stitches because you don't want everything to come undone and I'm just going to be cutting off the mesh part and keeping the band area because that's what we're going to be sewing on. Now you just want to line up the edge of the band right behind the ear flap that is on the frontal. If you guys turn the frontal over, you wanna know exactly what I mean by the ear flap. That is usually just the excess part that you cut off or you keep on depending on your head circumference. But anyway, so we're just going to be sewing on that, that band on that area. And I'm just going to be doing that on both sides. Now, I don't know about you guys, but usually when I watch like YouTubers do the whole elastic band method, the band is still a little bit, not that the band is too small, but I always have excess um, like wig just hanging off of my head. So the elastic band will be like pretty tight on my head. And then the rest of my wig will literally just be like hanging off of my head because my head is so small. I don't know if that's the reason, but it's always like excess wig. If you guys have small circumference heads, you know exactly what I mean by like the extra wig just hanging off the back of your head. So instead of just doing an elastic band and just letting it hang, I actually like to cut the elastic band in half. So I put the wig on off camera and then I just measured how much excess elastic band is left on my head and I just cut off that bit. It was about like one and a half inches. And I'm just going to pull both sides and sew it down onto the wig so that when I put the wig on, it's gonna be nice and snug all around my head and not just on the elastic band and on my frontal. I'm 
somebody bring some water. Cause she's on fire. Somebody bring some water. Cause she's on fire. So now the wig is all constructed and now we're going to be moving on to part three in the next video which will be up tomorrow if in case you guys are wondering and that is going to be how I dyed the hair this beautiful purple magenta with a little touch of rose gold on the ends and if you guys are so interested in seeing that video make sure you tune in tomorrow because it will be posted then. I love you guys as always and bye fairies.